El Nino winter conditions are heading our way, but you can protect your garden from the rain and what can follow after a storm. And this Earth 8 report, CBS 8's Sean Stiles shows us what to do to keep your garden in shape. Although the El Ninos have yet to arrive, they are definitely waiting in the wings. And as the old saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Getting ready for those El Nino rains right now will make a big difference in your garden. Really the key during heavy rain is slowing down the water. You slow down the water, you minimize the erosion. David Ross is a senior manager at Walter Anderson Nursery in Poway and says, if heavy rain is left unchecked, it can be very damaging. So if it's running, if it's flowing, you want to redirect it and move it away. Otherwise, it'll excavate those plants, expose the roots, could kill a lot of things. So Ross shared some simple ways to do that, like this hay roll. You could use it to slow down moving water, but it also makes a great top dressing if you want to put out some ryegrass seed or some kind of seed. Erosion netting is another. It holds soil and new plantings in place, but for bigger control, think bales of hay. Just prior to Hillary, I put this up on my side of the fence, and it did a really good job of slowing that water down. He says redirecting that runoff with existing or new blocks is a great way to capture that water for your garden. Well, we took it and realigned it so that it went around the patio into a bed where it percolated down. When it comes to putting out fertilizer, a half an inch to an inch of rain is a good thing. I always try and take advantage of a good rain, a slow soaking rain to water in fertilizer at my house. Beyond that, not so much. I wouldn't put out fertilizer because there's a greater risk of that fertilizer becoming part of the runoff and getting into storm drains and causing all sorts of problems downstream. Now for the good part. I had so many people come and say that they had noticed how much better their plants were doing after we had all this free rainwater, clean free rainwater. That's why David says it's a good idea to capture it. So a lot of people have moved to things like rain barrels and rain water collection devices because it is clean water and it's the cleanest water source you're going to find and it is great for our plants. So when and if those El Nino rains do arrive, this way you'll be ready and take full advantage of all that beautiful rain coming from the skies. Sean Stiles, Earth 8.